ID, which may lead or throw the normal day-to-day -day life out of gear. So there, so you can see the people are busy in purchasing their own vegetables. Some people are uh, busy uh, in the looking here and there. They are having some good time with their friends. They are busy like uh, suddenly an untoward incident happened and everything in the life was thrown out of gear. <laughs> Any standard equipments or tools without having such, they, these methods can be used to transport over short distances. One of the methods uh, displayed by our lady volunteers. So there are instances wherein uh, rescue teams or uh, Professional medical teams may not arrive at the site of disaster within the time. So at that time, the people nearest to the site of disasters are the first responders to the disaster. So they are capable, if they are trained and uh, capable of handling this such type of situation, much loss can be minimized. That is, uh, human loss and the loss to property can be minimized to a larger extent. So this is how the volunteers are trained. They are know how to tie different types of bandages and to carry them over a short distance of four uh, distances. So this method is known as cradle method. It is suitable for carrying casualties of lightweight casualties. Society, households are built. Uh, this is another method which is known as stick a back method. Then the casualties insured on the back is being tied the bandage on the back and is being transported to the safer distance that is he is being transported to the first aid post. There are some more methods in well, it may, it may be dangerous for anyone. So that's the reason why that person is keeping low and trying to drag out that man out of the dark room. This particular method is known as toe drag method. See the man is unconscious and still he is able to bring him out of the room. So we consider that he has bring out of the room and he is being carried by the suitable method which is known to him. This particular method is known as PK button. This is the way he can be carried from one place to another place. And you all these methods do not require any standard equipment such as a stretcher or a ladder or any other thing. Only a man who is trained in civil defense or this disaster type activities can handle this situation at a very easy manner. We do have another method wherein we can take out the Casualties from the smoke room, if we have a small handkerchief like thing, we can tie both the hands to make a loop and again insert the head in the loop and carry the casualty out of the room. So that particular volunteer is displaying the same thing, dragging the casualty like that. Thank you. Our volunteers are trained and they are able to handle any type of situation in a professional manner. This particular method is known as two-man human face. Here we say, uh, assume that both the legs of the casualties are injured and at the, type, uh, at the site of disaster we do not have any standard crutches. So we can use two human beings as a supporting crutch to the injured human being. Mind you sir, these are the ladies of the same ELS uh, Vajawada uh, local shed. Who are, who are trained all this week in such techniques, not only practically but also theoretically also. One week classes were uh, conducted. Some of those classes they are uh, performing wonderfully over here. The next method is wherein one leg of the casualty is injured, is unable to walk, and we have two rescuers. This is the way we can carry the casualties in. Two hand seat over a short distance, which is known as two hand seat. Before the ambulance arrived at the swap, we have our volunteers have. Uh, rendered all the first aid which helps to lower the load of the treatment. This particular method which is displayed by the young man over there 
trying not to the casualty and dragging him out of the smoke room because in this case we have one rope along with us and this particular method is known as four hundred seats sir wherein heavy casualties can be transported from one bulk place to another place without any problem this method is known as four and half method wherein the injury is on the stomach side used similarly we do have many other methods so which we can carry it by giving due support to the back region because if the back region is not given support and carried in a haphazard manner that may lead into the injury to the nervous system which is in which the rope he gets the steady uh, support from the rope so this is the way he is carried from one place to another using the rope even this also serves the purpose of a stretcher fire and the fire is put off like this so this is easily demonstrated and same is being demonstrated today also so one fire ball was uh, dropped in the fire over there so so that how the fire ball is exploded and put off the సిబ్బందికి ట్రైనింగ్ ఇవ్వటం చాలా ఆనందంగా ఉంది చాలా గర్వంగా ఉంది ఇవాళ ఈ టైం సెక్షన్లో భాగంగా మా లోకల్ స్టేట్ నుంచి ఫార్టీ మెం ఫార్టీ మెంబర్స్ ఈ డిఫెన్స్ టీంలో ట్రైనింగ్ తీసుకున్నారు డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ యాక్షన్స్ అండ్ డిఫరెంట్ సేమ్ టెక్నిక్స్ నేర్పించారు ఇది చాలా మాకు షెడ్కి అలానే వాళ్ళ సొంత ఫ్యామిలీస్ కానీ చుట్టూ ఉన్న వాళ్ళకి కూడా చాలా ఉపయోగపడుతుంది అండ్ మా హెల్త్ మా స్టాఫ్ని చూసి మేము చాలా గర్వపడుతున్నాం సివిల్ డిఫెన్స్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ కండక్ట్స్ ప్రెషర్ కోర్స్ ఫర్ ద సేఫ్టీ ఆఫ్ అవర్ స్టాఫ్ అండ్ ఇన్ జనరల్ ఫర్ ద పబ్లిక్ యాజ్ వెల్ దీస్ కోర్సెస్ ఆర్ కండక్టెడ్ కీపింగ్ ఇన్ వ్యూ ది వర్కింగ్ కండిషన్స్ ఎస్పెషలీ ఇన్ ఆర్ లోకో షెల్ అండ్ సైడింగ్స్ వెర్ ఇన్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ మోస్ట్లీ ఆన్ దర్ ఓన్ అండ్ జస్ట్ ఇన్ కేస్ ఇఫ్ ఎనీ అన్ టు వర్డ్ ఇన్సిడెంట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ పీపుల్ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ దట్ మచ్ ఆఫ్ కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ అండ్ ది అబిలిటీ టు టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్సెల్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ యూ నో సేఫ్ గార్డ్ ది లైఫ్స్ ఆఫ్ ది పీపుల్ అరౌండ్ దెమ్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ కండక్టెడ్ దిస్ వెర్ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఎయిడ్ ట్రైనింగ్ ఇస్ గివెన్ ఇట్ ఇంక్లూడ్స్ ద సిపిఆర్ దెన్ రెస్క్యూ ట్రైనింగ్ ఇస్ గివెన్ bandages how to tie how to uh, lift an injured person so uh, various methods are there even without any equipment people are able to move them around and take them to safer options so these courses are uh, conducted regularly when this time at ELS Vijayawada uh, team from headquarters has come 40 of our uh, staff have been trained and we will ensure that these kind of courses are conducted regularly and all of our people will get trained uh, slowly and definitely will spread the word about these and they will be able to help as many people